I bite at the hand that feeds me Slap at the face that eats me Some kind of animal cannibal Animal cannibal Sharon attracted violent men. Strangely, she had a way of making the violence seem like it was their idea. Her friend Janice was cut from the same mold. They even liked the same perfume. Arthur, who had been following them closely, was similarly disposed. The three of them had two things in common, violence and perfume. This one here smells great. Which one? Mmm. Smells like mother's crazy sister Kate. Oh, you think so? Yeah, I do. It smells so good. She couldn't have been that crazy. I don't think so. Oh, you don't think so, huh? No. Well, she put her poodle one time in a microwave oven. To eat it? Yeah. To eat it? Oh, no. No, 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 silly, to dry it. No, 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 But it exploded, and they were both found dead. She must have been out of her head. for that sexual scent that smelled like home. He had used so many masks to disguise himself that he had forgotten who he was, who he'd known. He imagined himself a frog transformed into a Prince Charming. He felt the moment he kissed her, he would become the man she would want him to be.
was a strange looking man at my door. What he looked like, Sharon? Is he that one I won't be seeing anymore? Well, he's not your run of the mill animal. Feed. Sharon, Sharon, what do you mean? He's got the head and it's the size of a wolf and a mouth as large as a Sharon, what do you mean? Well, he's got the head and it's the size of a wolf and a mouth as large as a the better to eat you with, my dear. You have two choices. One, I will eat you now. Or two, I will cut your arms and legs off one by one and eat them slowly. Why? For love. Why? For love. But love shouldn't cost an arm and a leg. For love. But do you love me? You smell so good. The sweetest flower of all. Have there been others? Six. Then I am the... Seventh. 